here we are taking a turn off Route 41 to the Easton Newberry Sports Complex. In just a moment, we'll park the car and begin the tour. Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video I'm going to give you a tour of the Gator Cup, which is held at the Easton Newberry Sports Complex, which is right behind me. Now, in the first clip you saw, that was us turning into uh, the sports complex, and you, you, as you can see, uh, the parking lot was pretty full. We'll be checking out uh, kind of like the three main parking lots, check-in, registration, the two different shooting fields, the vendor area, and so on and so forth. This is a lot of stuff to see here, but hopefully this video will give you a good idea on what to expect when you come here in the future. I'll have links down below to USA Archery and the Gator Cup so that you can uh, see what they have to say about their own shoot as well and you know get information on the cost of registration and things like that but this video will serve as a nice visual on what to expect uh, you know in the coming year or two if you attend the Gator Cup yourself. Alright first off parking lot number one it extends from uh, the entrance all the way through into uh, an actual paved section with handicapped spots. Uh, there is other handicapped designated areas besides just right here in front of the building. Uh, we'll, we'll check them out. They're actually on the other side and they'll be on the third lot uh, that's very far away. Uh, that is going to lead to, I guess I would call it field one, uh, that is primarily or only compound. Uh, so if you're a compound shooter, you're probably going to want to park in parking lot one here or I would call it parking lot two over here and we'll take a walk uh, this way because if you're driving and you're trying to get to uh, well this parking lot or where the recurve shooters shoot you're gonna have to drive this way and either park in this lot or the further lot which actually kind of sets you up nicely for uh, parking by the recurve targets we'll be checking it out and uh, I'll be pointing out where you have to drive around in order to uh, get there this is being filmed on practice day, then qualification day for uh, the youth divisions. So uh, it's, it's pretty packed. Uh, the senior divisions will be doing official practice in uh, the late afternoon today as well. So we're currently walking around the back side of the East Newberry Sports Complex buildings. Uh, they do have other fields here. You know, there's some baseball and softball fields in front of us. Uh, I think we technically shoot on a, uh, a football field for, for one part of the tournament. But we make it work. Uh, as you can see, there is a handicapped parking sign right there. So if you're handicapped, you would proceed through here. And then they have set parking for you that's closer to the event. As you can see, right over here, more handicapped parking. All right, so we made it around. You can see a ton of tents back there. That's for field number two. Field number one is right here. And we'll be checking out field number one first. All right, so uh, huh, here is the line for check-in. They actually moved it this year to inside the building. So you can see all the people waiting in line, waiting to go inside the building for check-in and registration. They have signage for it as well. There was a break in the line, so I decided to uh, do a little walkthrough of uh, the registration line. So this is normally filled with people waiting to register, as you saw in the clip before. I'm going to take a walk through and uh, show you what's, what's going on. Uh, the people you see waiting there are people that are paying for uh, premium seating and coaching credentials. Uh, there really isn't any archers left that need to register at this time until the senior divisions and master's divisions show up later today. 
So uh, now let's head out of this building and uh, continue the rest of the tour. But they are very busy because everybody's got to check in, get their target assignments, and well, the shoot needs to know that you're here so uh, you know, they don't mark you as uh, not attending. And then you can shoot for score and, and everything like that. Um, besides that, you see there's a whole variety of tents here. This section here is uh, the kind of the free put your tent wherever section. Uh, beyond that though, they do have premium seating, coaches area only, and then the shooting area. We'll take a look at that. We kind of got to go through this tent right here and then we can see the, the three different sections so we got premium seating this is the coaching area with brian brady hard at work uh, oh and then after that we have the archers area where the archers are and uh where they actually go and shoot so very nice field here uh, this field is set up for archery year round they got a nice permanent uh metal overhead canopy I guess you would call it uh, very good now on the other field for the recurve that field gets set up every year because it's normally a soccer field or a, or a football field I will be checking that out uh, the bathrooms of choice you have two options on this field the first one if you go through that building there you can actually use real bathrooms that are air-conditioned other than that if you don't have time porta potties are going to be your bathroom of choice Uh, continuing on, we're going to go and check out uh, the vendors next and uh, see what else comes our way. We're also heading in the direction of field number two, where the recurve shooters are. Uh, in years past, they've actually used this uh, building here for registration and check-in, but I guess they uh, didn't want to deal, deal with that this year with all the heat. Now behind the Easton trailer, it turns out was equipment inspection for uh, this field, the compound field. You can see the compound archers uh, checking the draw weight of their bows because you know none of the bows are supposed to be over 60 pounds. Equipment inspection is also being done on the other field for the recurve shooters. Uh, other than that, we have an Easton Foundations merchandise section where you can get, I guess, theme looks like themed Easton uh, Foundations products like t-shirts and hats and such. All right, as we continue around, we're probably getting to, to the, uh, I guess the bigger bulk of the tournament, in a sense where the majority of the targets are here. See, the compound section only runs to target 39. So one through 39 is here, but 40 through 100 and eight i believe that was the last target or 104 was the last target are in this section right here including all the vendors uh the only bathrooms you're going to have here are porter potties so uh good luck unless you really run but that's not going to happen for our vendors we have a uh, shrewd this year the pretty nice setup we're going to have uh, the snow cone company here making snow cones later I guess it hasn't gotten hot enough yet for uh, snow cones, but that will occur. And we have uh, Lancaster Archery. Come on down to Lancaster Archery. Oh, and we have a we have a new one. This was not set up uh, yesterday. Uh, let's see who this is. We got a, an additional vendor this year. Looks like they're selling jewelry and stabilizers. Uh, APE. AEP, sorry. All right, so those are the vendors uh, this year at the uh, Gator Cup. And the setup for this is the same as uh, the other field. So you got your free section. On this side, they put a, a big old fence up. And then after that, you get to go to your uh, premium seating with a big old tent and then this next section here you get the coaching area where the coaches get to stand and after that you then go to the archers area both fields have their own DOS uh, I didn't point it out on the other field but they do have one 
they run on separate clocks too so it's not like one field has to wait for the other but this whole field here is all ran by one dos one timing system as you can see we got an all set a lot going on here pretty cool though Let's see if we can uh can get out of here <laughs> all right uh, again more porta potties of choice this spread out pretty good uh, but we're going to check on uh, one last thing and that is the third parking lot because i've been talking about this third parking lot and here it is there is the third parking lot this makes it way easier for the recurve archers especially if you're on targets like 65 to 100 and something uh this parking lot over here is much more convenient they have a handicap section right in the front here again so if you if you need the handicap access they got you taken care of but for everybody else uh the regular parking is not that far away and it's a pretty short walk since you can actually drive all the way around and it attaches up to, I, I would call parking lot number two. So there you go. It gets pretty full, but still way more convenient than having to walk all the way from the front side of the Easton Sports Complex all the way to this field. All right, there you have it. That is a tour of Gator Cup 2022. Uh, it's looking like a good time here. Uh, they filled up this tournament. Uh, to the max so they might actually have to expand it in the future which is really great for archery other than that hopefully this video answered some of your questions uh, about the shoot if not maybe uh, my links down below to USA Archery and Gator Cup can answer the rest other than that I look forward to seeing you here next year thank you for watching please like and subscribe and as always happy shooting